Hey, hello, 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 and welcome to this new edition of our favorite show on the internet. This is no other than Guitar Chat, yes. <laughs> and as you know, this is brought to you by Vegatrem, the best tremolo systems in the world, in the market. Yes, that's right. And I hope you're already part of the family. I always say this, but it's the truth. I really, really hope you're already part of the Vegatron family because that has its perks. You're just a click away from being part of this awesome family. So please do so. I'm gonna give you some time. I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, I hope you already subscribed. If you did so, uh, now the only thing you have left to do is to leave a comment in any of our broadcasts. Why? Because if you do that, you're gonna enter our t-shirt giveaway. You can win one of these amazing t-shirts just by being subscribed to our channel and by uh, typing a comment in any of our videos. So now I'm gonna say the name of last show's t-shirt giveaway. His name is Hernán Fortuna. Congratulations, Hernán, you've been the winner. So we're going to send you one of these amazing Vegatrim t-shirts to your address, to your home, to your place. Congratulations. We also have a discount code that you can use uh, whenever you're doing uh, your purchase on our website. By the time you go check out, you can type this discount code and you're gonna get a 15% off, 15%. The code is gonna be displayed here at the bottom side of the screen at any moment of the show. So yeah, you need to be aware, you need to don't miss anything because if you miss the code, well, you're not gonna <laughs> have that information. Therefore, you're not gonna have the discount. The good news is that the discount is gonna be available for a whole week right after the broadcast of the show. So yeah, there's that. And another pretty cool thing that we do always is the Vegatram challenge. Check it out. Hey, are you a guitar player? Do you want to be part of the Vegatram family? If you do, I've got good news for you. I'm proud to introduce the Vegatram challenge. Each month, we're going to prepare a phrase for you to learn. It can be a lick, it can be a phrase, it can be a riff. We want you to learn it and play it at your own style. We want you to be yourself. Once you learn it, you need to record your video and send it to us. Once you've created your jam, send us your video and you will participate in our monthly contest. Here are the requirements. Follow us on Instagram, tag us on your video and use the hashtag Vegatrend Challenge. Each time we publish our podcast, Guitar Chat, we will reveal the name of the winner. And if you're the winner, we're gonna send you one of these wonderful VT ones completely free. Okay, let's go.
So now that you know what the Vega Trim Challenge is, now it's time to say the name of the winner of last month's Vega Trim Challenge. His name is Pablo Muñoz. Pablo Muñoz, congratulations. You did a great job. And for the rest of you guys, please keep participating. Keep sending us your videos because we love seeing you play. We love uh, seeing you learning uh, the leaks that we propose. And by the way, this month we have uh, a very, very special um, guest, a uh, guitar player playing the, the league for us. His name is Sergio Rivas. He's a Vegatram artist. And you can see his PRS guitar with a VT1 loaded on it. And he's playing this amazing lick. Please learn it. Uh, send us your video and win one of these amazing VT1s. That's everything you have to do. Okay, so without further ado, today we have a very special interview. Uh, his name is Danny Gomez. Uh, he, he's a good friend of us. He's also a Vega Tramp artist. But today we're going to be talking about uh, his newest endeavor, which is uh, taking care of Dirty Boy. If you guys were around uh, in the 90s, probably you are familiar with the name Blue Saracino, an amazing guitar player whose dad built modified amps and pedals for him under a brand called Dirty Boy. Well, fast forward to today. Now the owner of this brand is Mr. Danny Gomez. So we're gonna talk to him. We're gonna see what he's up to with the, with the Dirty Boy brand. And we're gonna have a good time testing his pedals, his guitars. Let's watch it. Well, here we are in this new edition of Guitar Chat. With finally. Finally. It's been a while. We've been trying for so long. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> right. But we're finally here, you know, talking to you. And I'm, yeah, I couldn't be happier, man. Mr. Danny Gomez. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, he's a, he's a professional guitar player. A lot of experience, a lot of uh, expertise when we talk about especially Brian May. It's been a trip, yeah. <laughs> I think that the, all that Brian May stuff is more about my, my like guitar playing side of things. Uh -huh. But yeah, definitely. That's right. Well, besides all that, uh, we're here to talk about your new endeavor, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell me a little bit, I mean, if you want to talk about it, of course, uh, tell me a little bit ab about Dirty Boy. Oh, tell that, me what that, it is. That Dirty Boy thing has been, it's been around for a while, I think. Uh, it was like mid-90s okay. that Blue Saracino's dad, Alex Saracino, started building stuff for him okay the first thing he built was the dirty boy amp that was basically a, a, a plexi on asteroids with a with a barrier on top and so on okay um and after blues finished his tour with poison and so on uh he moved to doing um doing uh session work okay in la in the studios and so on with with small combos like silvertone and so on uh and alex started building like Fuzz pedals and booster pedals uh -huh. to get like a big sound on a small amp. That okay. was the, that, that was the goal. It's like okay, you're you're going around the city. You know how it is. Like oh, yeah. get your car, a couple of guitars, and yeah, you're not you're not Michael Landau with with that big band with that with everything basically a shop inside uh -huh. of that. Yeah. Uh, so in your car, a small amp, a couple of good pedals, and so on. Uh -huh. uh, after a while, the people on the studio started asking Blues, hey. You know what? That magic pedal of yours that it could be an amazing addition to the to the to the studio. So maybe your dad and basically you send 
I don't know, probably it was like a fax or something. It's like, hey, Alex, I want to get one of your pedals. And you pay back, I don't know, let's say money gram. Uh -huh. And you get a pedal yeah. anytime Alex was ready. Wow. Because it was all handmade in his garage. Uh, like, I, I mean, like painting the, the yeah, enclosure so, by himself. So it was like a boutique kind of thing? But I think before, way before, before, the, way before the, the boutique. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah, one, one man company uh, mm -hmm. building pedals with whatever was around okay. that, that produced some magical pieces. I mean, when you produce magical pieces, there, there are like amazing regular ones, but mm -hmm. there are some amazing ones. Okay. Uh, so long story short, it was that way, let's say, probably for two decades, okay. something like that. And after that, probably Alex decided to move to do other stuff or simply lose the interest or wherever. Uh, fast forward, six years ago, I contacted him and it was like, hey, you know what? I've been developing my own uh, TAE preamps for a while. They are more box AC safety oriented, but I would love to have a blue stone on one of the pedals. And we developed like a, a barrier emulator. We, okay. we were ready. And said, let's meet at NAM uh -huh. uh, and, and give me five, yeah, five minutes. Give me five minutes at a time. I will show you what we're doing. And if you're pleased, we, we can continue with, with the conversation and so on. And it was very easy. It's like, you know what? What sounds fair for you in terms of our royalty for using your brand, the, uh -huh. the, 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 the dirty boy and so on? And we agreed, and we produced the first Dirty Boy preamp that was like a big enclosure. It was, it was, it was a very nice pedal, and yeah. it worked amazingly. And right after that, it was sold out, and people started like emailing me, I, I mean like every week. Wow. Literally, every week. It's like, there's any uh, more units available? I'm like, no, sorry, it was a limited edition. It was, uh, probably it was like 200 units. Uh -huh. it, was, it was good, I mean, it was very cool. nice for a super, high-end, like vintage looking pedal, uh -huh. super uh, like elaborate and stuff with the, with the barrier emulator and so on. Uh, right after that, it was like, well, I started thinking, wow, maybe we should bring back that thing. It was like that five years ago. Okay. And last, this, not, not this last month, but previous year, that was in April, do you remember that? Yes. I, uh, yeah. I met Blues at Nam, it was like, I, I was chatting with Pablo, my partner in this, and said, you know what, we should prepare a couple of super fast prototypes of Dirty Boy version 2.0 yeah. to show the blues. And that's what we did. We never had access to the original amp. We never had access to the original pedals, but pictures. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm okay. telling you that. So imagine <laughs> that the original amps that we copied on a pedal, yes. it, it was, a, I got just yes, pictures from the outside and the records. It was like, okay, I got the font, I got the, the, the ears like, so that's Walking? that's literally like no, playing by, by ear, ear. <laughs> <laughs> building by ear, building by ear. Yeah, that's so right. <laughs> we got some pictures of some arenas, uh, Afrofas and okay. and, and uh, the Armenian boy. They were the, the the first two pedals that Alex developed back to the nineties. Uh -huh. And we, I, I brought a couple of prototypes to say, hey, we can do this, and we can bring back the the Dirty Boy preamp. Okay. What do you think? Sounds good. Let me check. And I gave him a couple of prototypes. Uh -huh. And I, I came back with the other set. Uh, basically, we had uh, twin sets, okay. opposite sides of the Atlantic, working, working in parallel. So it was like, okay, I need more frequency. I don't need the clack, clack. I, I, I want the frequency console like being like clack, clack, clack instead of being lineal. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I got like pictures of the internals of the original pedals, but never had an original here or the workshop. It was like, Trial, trial and error, and, and working by the telephone with blues. Uh -huh. my, to me, Brian May was my number one influence, but right after that was Blue Saracino. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I, I, yeah it's like I ate the, 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 the first one, it's like I did the, the whole home run with Brian, it's like recording yes. with him, playing with Will Rock You, and being an artist of Brian May, blah, 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 and so on, uh -huh. and, and publish a book together. And after that, it's like, okay, it's time for the second best. Yes. I, wa I want to go for, for blues now. So it was like chatting with blues, I mean, probably weekly. It's okay. like, hey, are you ready? Yeah, let's try. Okay, show me your videos. Okay, okay, okay. you need more clarity here. You need more trouble here or more bossy sound. Uh -huh. And we arrived to that spot that was, okay, you know what? We are there. That was around Christmas last year. Okay. Okay, let's meet at NAMM show. Uh -huh. And we, we didn't have a booth. Uh, so we, we arranged meetings at Vegatron booth. 
Thank you, guys. <laughs> and K said guitar work from Japan, that, that they had a small amp, and that I brought one of my uh, TB24 guitars. There's, there's this basically bringing back the original Summit design. Well, it was a Balliards design. Balliards, yeah. Right after that, it uh -huh. was brought by Summit, and they like put things on a cheap mode. OK. Uh, so I got the guitar, I got two sets of pedals, one for blues, one for me. OK. All together, that we tried the numb, it was like big thumbs up. And that was it. And the plan was to build 400 units. Okay. On the same royalty that we agreed before with yes. his dad, it's like, okay, what, 400 units. It's all good, all good. Maybe some merch for, for friends and so on. Yeah. And right, right after that, I came back, I was at the middle of the We Were Rocket show, and I was thinking, oh, we need to mod this, we need to mod that. And I was like messaging blues constantly constantly and it was like you know what maybe we should maybe we should and one night here at, here at this studio at this table and we were chatting and say you know what every time that you need to make a change you tell me yeah i tell my dad uh -huh. my dad tells me and i tell you and it's a pain yeah and i love you and i trust you and maybe this could be a good chance to 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 buy the company uh -huh. i was oh, well i never thought that was on the table i, I mean I'm all in, let me think about it. And that, that was probably a Thursday, something like that. And I was th that weekend playing at the We Were Rocky show. At the middle of the We Were Rocky show, playing, I, I won it all. Yeah. It was like, I think that this amount, it sounds good. Sounds wrong, sounds good. I think, you know what? Hey, Blues, what do you think about this? Okay, sounds good. Let me know. I, I will let you know on Monday. I will check with my dad. Um, yeah. Bound, sounds good. Let's do it. Wow. And, yeah, and suddenly it was like, oh, wow, oh, wow. now I have a, a brand. I want it all, I and have I want it, it all. now, <laughs> and I want it on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. So. And, and th that was the thing. Uh -huh. uh, sounds good? Sounds good? Let's do it. Wow, okay. So now you're the sole, uh, the, uh, the sole owner of Dirty Boy. Yeah. Wow. That's it. <laughs> That's crazy, man. It's, it's nuts. Yeah. And right at this stage, uh, it was like, you know what? I need to do more stuff. Uh -huh. I need to bring the guitars back in full at here with all the custom crazy ideas that, that come yeah. to my mind. I need to bring the merchandise. Uh -huh. It was like, no, no, I want it all. I mean, yes. because it's, it's quite a brand. It's a thing. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's something that Blues always mentioned about the tone of the pedals, but it, it works for the brand itself. It's a thing. It's uh -huh. different. It's all that do-it-yourself stuff, all yeah. finished with the stickers, all, 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 all that 90s flavor. Uh -huh. It's a thing. The alternative kind of thing, it's right, thing. from the 90s? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Man, that's wonderful. You know, I have to tell you, because um, I also, I want to, I want to, Talk about the guitars as well a little more deeply because I have to tell you when you brought the, the guitar to the to the Vega Trend booth not last night show, it really created a great impression to everyone that was there, you know? Everyone was like, you know, man, what is this? What is this guitar? You know, you could see Ben Cody, I yeah, think yeah, you're, yeah. In, you're in conversations with him now. And, and and many other people, you know, they were like, Man, this guitar's badass. What what this what this thing came from, you know? And, yeah. and they were like It came from the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you kind of like uh, uh, reignited the, the, the project. Definitely, right? believe it or not, there was like very little of, of the original Summit guitars on Reverb. Uh -huh. And suddenly when we came back with these, prices go up. I mean really? yeah, I'm oh, telling wow. you, it was like I, I remember when I got my first one, okay. uh, well, uh, not very long ago, it was probably around six, seven years ago, uh -huh. I got one on Facebook Marketplace okay. for 60 euros. 60, what? Yeah, 60, 60 euros? euros? Yeah, yeah, oh. I'm telling you, I, yeah. in Parla. <laughs> my town, man, <laughs> I'm from there. <laughs> in Parla. That I was driving, getting the guitar, 60 euros, yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Okay. And. And now I'm selling some of the arenas that I used to, 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 to make this to measure, to, to study them. Uh -huh. And they're selling uh, in 1,000 euros. Oh, wow. Same guitar. Yeah, same, same guitar. guitar. Same, same guitar. one you bought for 60 bucks. Yeah, but there, there were two versions. There was the, the Radio 10 okay. and, uh, and the TV20. And uh -huh. basically, these ones are a mixture of, of different ones. I got three or four of them, and I got the best neck, the best body, and and we CNC it to perfection to, uh -huh. to, to be based on the original uh, 
uh, blues and Balearts design, not the Samic Samic, see, uh, yeah. but, but more about the original prototypes. Okay, and and tell me the what's the philosophy uh, behind the, the guitar because as far as I know you can order it like almost custom made. Yeah, is the, that... the thing is it's a, it's a canvas. I see okay. it as a canvas. I mean, we, we will keep the headstock design, we will keep the, 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 the inlay like position uh -huh. that can be can be modified obviously, but it's more of the headstock and the body okay. that is different to, to anything. Okay. And it can be Trickable in many ways. I mean, if you put a a, a, a pick guard on this, okay, it, and three single coils suddenly like a strat. Yeah. But if you put just two pickups and an ultra amulet, suddenly it's like a telecaster feeling. That's right. And you put a couple of humbuckers with 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 yeah with little details, and suddenly it's more like a Les Paul. Yeah. And it looks like a surf guitar. So it basically is so similar, but at the same time so different. It has no classic horns, I mean, it's not like a Strat horn or yeah. Tele horn or, or Les Paul, it's just in it done electro filling. That's right, that's it's, right. It's so similar, but at the same time, it's so different that you can do whatever you want. I mean, uh -huh. we're doing like more hard rock uh, guitars with a Vega Tram and just one humbuckers, yeah. but 80s stone. Yeah, you can you, get the AVH kind of flavor, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely, and we're doing that. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, something that I really like doing is create a guitar that never was. I mean, all yeah. these guitars had maple, maple necks. Okay. So when, when this unit came to my mind, it was like, okay, I want rusted maple and I want super dark uh, rosewood. Okay. Because it never happened. It was, th there was no prototype or this configuration of three single coils, but front loaded, uh -huh. it all, all the crazy stuff. Cool. Man, that's wonderful. And another thing that I have to say, that I really like about this guitar, thinking about the, the working guitar player, the working musician, is the way. It's a way. Super, super <laughs> live guitar. So you can play like four hours set, no problem about it. No, right? this one is two kilos, uh, two, 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 yeah, two seven. It's, okay. it's super light. It's like a Stromberg guitar. That's and right. this, this is because of the Samba body. Uh -huh. Obviously, we can build the, the with whatever woods you want, but the Samba is working very well. It's very nice. It's uh -huh. one one piece, okay. So it resonates, uh, unplugged like an acoustic guitar, yeah. and it's super light. Wonderful, yeah, man. And also the design is is very very cool. I mean, you you also have all kinds of different finishes, right? You yeah. can you can have like the the typical blue Saracen. Yeah, all the clay the stuff. Yeah, gotcha yeah. covered. Yeah, we uh -huh. finished one in white, okay, with all the black, red, and white lines over it. Uh, we are finished one in black with all that watermelon play too. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the sky is the limit. Custom yeah. is custom. Okay. We're not doing many. We're doing one, two guitars a month. Okay. But every guitar has to be different. I, I, I mean, I don't have the interest. I have like 20 guitars exactly the same. Yeah. We're doing a couple of salmon pink ones okay. with uh, mean green pickers or all the or all the seventies flavor. Yeah, we're good with that. But okay. just for one, two units. Uh -huh. There's a couple of one that we're finishing in the Tyler style with H HSS uh, configuration and boosters and so on. Got we're good with that, but I want to keep things exciting. Wonderful, wonderful. Tell me about the pickups. What kind of pickups are you using on this? We're basically using BMB pickups made mm -hmm. in, in Spain. Well, the, the, it's amazing because in this guitar, everything but the tuning keys is being made in Spain. That's right. All the wood, all the pickups, uh, the, obviously the backup trim. So it's a very truly made in Spain guitar. So we're using BMB pickups. Up. Obviously, if the customer wants something special. I mean, if we're getting uh, orders with Fishman Fluence pickups, or you uh -huh. want, I don't know, whatever. You're into super 80s rock and you want a Simmer Duncan custom 78 pickups. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or all that EVH flavor, gotcha cover, whatever you need. Yeah. But first option is is like it's like the chef. You want proximity product. I mean, That's you right. can give it. You can give Pasquale a call. It's like Pasquale, we need a slightly hotter pickup set or whatever. That's right. And that's the thing. And also the the standard that you set with these pickups, it's wonderful. I mean, because I already know I already know B and B pickups, and and they're I mean. They're second to none, you know, they're, they're just amazing, amazing pickups. They're, they're top and, of the line. And if you guys have that, like, 
as a first option. I yeah. mean, what else can you ask for? Well, you know, it's unless you're after something really special. I mean, I yeah. need active pickups a la EMG yeah. because I'm a true, mm -hmm. I don't know, Sagwild fan that I want this shape. Yeah. But with the other thing, I'm good with that. Yeah. Because I, I want to keep things exciting. But yeah. at the end of the day, what I use, what I use on a personal unit of mine is this stuff. It's classic. You can use it for work, or you can use it for session work, to tour, mm -hmm. and that's it. You need something comfortable, recognizable, okay. that you can see at the stage, and say, oh, wow, I like this thing. I don't know what it is, but I like this thing. It's like the, like the ones with the pick guard that is more yes. classic. It's like, oh, it looks some kind of a strat-ish, but it's not, but I like the thing, and it's versatile, and it's light. I like it, <laughs> and it's different. You're not, you're not like the thousand player with the same vintage strat ish. Yeah. Like we, I'm not. I have nothing against that. I love it. I used that in the past, but now, this thing keeps keeps things exciting to me. I mean, this this year for the the, the shows that I'm not playing at the We Were Rocky show that I'm playing with other artists, uh -huh. it's like, oh, I'm really excited about this to to tour with something that is not the same uh-huh that's like, right okay it's on boys something classic maybe you need three single coins it's good that you have this option or you have a classic uh pig guard but with a distinctive shape yeah i like that thing that's awesome that's wonderful man i like it well let's uh let's give it a try if you don't, if you Ooh, don't mind <laughs> we should awesome. awesome okay danny let's talk about the, the pedals you have here going on Okay, so uh, we have four pedals here that the, obviously there are plans to, to, to build more stuff. Okay. Uh, but we wanted to start with the, with the first two uh -huh. that I started the thing for uh, Dirty Boy pedals that was the, the Germanium Boy and the Afro Fuzz. This one, right? Yeah. These two, right? The Germanium Boy uh, okay. is a Dallas Range Master uh -huh. a travel booster with a frequency control. Cool. Uh, you can get from more ballsy to a super high top uh, booster, uh -huh. but on a classic flavor. I mean, it's like that range master stuff for all that uh, Brian May or, or, or Tony Iommi or Richie Blackmore or Eric Clapton, Bino era. Uh -huh. um, and the Afro Fuzz is like a sun face on asteroid with, with the same frequency control here. Uh -huh. Right after that is the Bussy Boy that is more a fizz than a fuzz. Uh, so it's, it's, more, it's more defined in a way. It's a very, very nice, very nice pedal. It's, it's like the perfect fuzz. Okay. Uh, I, something that I noticed with these two, and I noticed that at the NAMM show with Rafa Moreira, is that it's the only fuzzes that you can keep on uh -huh. all the time and you can use the, your volume. Oh, okay, uh, so the volume knob, so you can clean dynamic. up, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. so it's like to have an amp, a fussy amp. And right after that is the is the Dirty Boy preamp that is basically Blue Saracino amp on a pedal and it has a the barrier. Preamp, uh, oh yeah, and I see the preamp output and everything, right? Yeah. And, and it, it also has an emulated output yeah. as well. Yeah, you have the preamp output to use it in front of your, your Amp, okay, or you can connect to an input response loader mm -hmm. like torpedo or so okay. Or you can record that and, and put the cabinets on, on mix on your DAW or whatever. Got it. But the emulated output that is what we're using right now, okay, uh, it sounds it sounds this good. <laughs> Seam and let's put some pedals in front of that. Okay. Basically, you have a gain, you mm -hmm. have tone, and you have volume. Yeah. I tend to keep gain and, and volume on top, and, okay. uh, and uh, that way I can uh, turn things down uh, with uh -huh. the guitar volume. Yeah. And tone is to taste. I mean, it depends on what you're connected to. If you're connected to an input response loader or a lamp or whatever, is the knob to, to tweak. Okay. In this case, uh, we're connected to the um, 
to the quad core text that is basically running the effects. Yeah. I have like some kind of Van Halen preset with some slight micro pitch and reverse yes. delay for full uh, stereo spread. And the, the well, the jewel of the crown is could be the Beria emulator. I mean, if you're like full, fully clockwise, uh, he is like your amp being happy yeah. forever after. <laughs> If you're using a barrier, like a real barrier, you're turning down the voltage uh -huh. and your amp is slightly, I mean, dying. Yeah. It's like a shutter. That's right. That's so, if you keep like these, it gives more harmonic content, like the brown, the brown sound. Brown sound. Yeah. <laughs> turn the thing uh, lower than noon, it start like acting like a noise gate in a way. section okay and there's something funny because it's the only pedal in the world that makes this kind of amazing noise of using uh -huh. like a very technology yeah 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 it's pretty interesting man pretty it's cool. different and yeah. it's great because you can use it like a full simulated amp like uh -huh. we're doing now but imagine having an overdrive on your Super fresh amp, okay. super happy contemporary amp. The sound is like, wow, you're killing it! It's like, whoa, 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 what happened here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome, yeah. man. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's that's how he, Blue Sausino uses his units uh, in uh -huh. front of small amps or studio amps and so on. Okay. And we build one for Phil X okay. uh, with a custom graphic and so on. Uh huh. I will show you that later. Okay. Uh, okay. So basically. Um, he had no time to try in front of the actual, an actual amp and say, wow, you know what, the emulated output sounds killer. I mean, yeah. Put some pedals in front of that. Yes. Uh, this could be like a good starting point. Uh -huh. This could be the Germanian boy uh, okay. in front of the amp scene. That's a wonderful lead sound. And that's it. and it's a classic range master. Uh, yeah. That means that you can turn the volume down and you can. Uh -huh. Okay. The amp is 
dying. Uh -huh. Basically, you, you're getting yeah. that, that thing. Cool. Uh, you have all these positions. I mean, if I'm into the primary mode, instead yeah. of, of using this position, you turn the thing to this one, okay. and you can use the same rig, and you get in a box ACSRD with a, with a treble booster in front. So this would be nice. the Yemenian boy. This is the Afro Fuzz. Okay. You um, have the same system, right, in terms yeah, of frequencies. Exactly. And, and it has no cut between the, the fre frequency. That way uh, you can... Uh, Fine tune by ear, let's say, uh -huh. because it was something important for blues that, that you can actually hear the, the frequencies like changing uh -huh. to fine tune by ear okay. uh, to match your uh, guitar and okay. your amp to get the, the best sound ever. But tuning by ear, I mean, mm -hmm. all that all that classic tones fine tune by ear, they're far best than, than anything. There's no digital stuff here. Yes. It's just like good tone that you can... Let's turn the, the gain a little down because we will be using a fuzz in front. Yes. So... Okay. Uh, and let's keep things just everything at noon. as well, you know? Sun phase with the frequency console and so on. Okay. These are built in state of the art flavor. I mean, with all separate PCBs for power, for switching, for the frequency. So uh -huh. they're basically they're modular in, in the inside. You open them, it's like three separate PCBs interconnected by ribbons okay. with all the crazy vintage components. Got it. But but on a modern building method way. Yeah, got it, got it. Okay, and this is one of my very favorites. Mm -hmm. This is the, the Bassy Boy. Okay. That that has controls that nobody would expect on a like on a guitar pedal like the timbre one or the balance one. It has no fuzz but fees. <laughs> It's a thing. 
Uh huh. There's no other pedals doing this stuff. Yeah. They're not like this or uh -huh. not like this anymore. It's like something different. It's like you cannot go for any shop in the world and get this. Uh -huh. You can get a lot of stuff, but you, you need to go boutique yeah. to get this. That's right. That's right. Because it's a very, they do a very, very specific thing, you know, that, for instance, I'm, I'm thinking if you're, if you're using an amp and you need a really like singing kind of lead tone. Like an organic thing. Yeah, yeah organic, but, but also being, being high gain without being too harsh. invasive, yeah. too harsh. This is your thing, man. It really, really is very impressive. I would say so. I'm right. really happy with that. I mean, and I say that with all, in all the most humble way possible because this was Alex's thing. Uh -huh. And I embraced this as a player first. But yeah. right after that, it was like, wow, you know what? People need to know. Yeah. The, the, the whole world is going to know. In a way or another, I mean, I, 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 I don't have any kind of hurry. I don't, I don't, I don't I want people playing this stuff and enjoying the thing and getting the thing. It's a thing, it's a thing. It is, it is for sure. Man, congratulations. Thanks. It's wonderful. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so this has been a tart chat with Mr. Danny Gomez, who was kind enough to, 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 to welcome us in his place, uh, to show us all this dirty boy stuff, which we are very, very excited about to try. And we really encourage you guys to try it. So. Thank you very much, Danny, for everything. This Thanks, has been... <laughs> it's been quite a chat. I really love it. I really love you guys and your support all over, not just the pedals or having us at your NAM booth, but yeah. it's, it's fantastic to have your hardware in all guitars. Uh, so it's quite a relationship. I'm pretty sure you're, you have a beautiful, beautiful, bright future ahead of you with all these things. So yeah, looking forward to, to seeing it, it, man. Thanks. Thank you so Bye. much. Thanks, this has everyone. been Guitar Chat. Till next time, be safe, be happy, and play a lot of your guitar. Bye. Thanks. Bye.